This is a video about my home defense shotgun. It is empty. It's a Maverick 88. It's an 18.5 inch barrel. It holds five in the tube plus one in the chamber. I don't leave it. I don't store it with one in the chamber. I just fill the tube up. I've had it for less than a year now. I put about 500 rounds through it. This is my only long gun. I don't own or I don't currently, as of November 2020, I don't currently own any rifles, just a shotgun. I got it because I don't feel like I need anything to reach out beyond 100 yards and I can hit anything within 100 yards with this. And this is much more powerful than any rifle I can get my hands on. Um, I put everything through it. Bird shot, buck shot, slug. Of course, it's reliable because it's a pump action. I just broke it down and cleaned it for the first time after, like I said, almost 500 rounds. And it's pretty simple to come apart, harder to get together than it is to take apart. But after a few videos on YouTube, I finally figured it out. Um, I have a sling point, a single sling point on the shotgun. When I got it, I didn't know it would hang so low. It actually hangs right near my feet. I only use it for transition drills or if I'm at the range. And I wanna walk to the 100 yard range from a private range or something like that. But I like it, it has a rubber grip for the recoil of 12 gauge. It takes three inch shells, so this rubber grip comes in handy when you shooting the magnums. I don't leave any three inch shells in them. I don't store it with three inch shells. I use Federal Flight Control. The nine pellet double lock buck. This is the full house, not the low recoil. The 1,325 feet per, feet per second. And as far as slugs, I use the Winchester Super X one ounce slug at 1600 feet per second, two and three quarters inch. But I found that it's accurate, like I said, out to 100 yards. I've played around at 200 and haven't gotten any hits yet. But I can hit at 100 yards with my handgun but it's not gonna hit with the authority a shotgun is gonna hit with at any distance. This, the main reason I pick a shotgun over a rifle is because it's a fight stopper. And if I'm going from my handgun to a long gun, I'm obviously in a bad situation and I don't feel like, I feel like the more power the better. If somebody gets far enough away from me for me to need one MOA, then the fight's over, I'm not pursuing anyone, I'm not chasing anyone, I'm not in this Afghanistan, so the farthest anybody would engage me from would be well, well within 100 yards, probably within 50 yards. Since I cleaned it, the action does seem a little smoother. It's starting to get some, some wear on the barrel, a little rust. The finish is already coming off in some places from where I might have dropped it. But all in all, the blue one's holding up pretty good. I try to shoot this gun more than I shoot any of my other guns. I, um, I don't plan on making very many upgrades to it. I do want to find one of the 20 inch barrel um, eight shot tubes to put onto this, onto this frame, but they're pretty scarce right now. Other than that, the only thing I want to do is add a fiber optic front sight with some tritium in it for the nighttime. So maybe like, orange fiber optic for the daytime or green fiber optic for the daytime and some tritium for the night because this this bead is very hard to pick up especially in low light situations but it works fine for what i've been using it for so far